Well, hey folks, I figured I'd take a kind of a quick video of the Mustang here. Cars never show good in the full sunlight, just the angles of the sun and everything, but it's actually a, a really clean car here. Here it is over here on the other side. And I seem to say this about all my cars. Well, I didn't buy this one to sell it. <laughs> well, things might be changing. This is actually my son's car. And I think he's he's hinting around. <laughs> I think he's learning from me. I don't I don't know if he wants to keep it or not. I kind of feel bad that he's getting that from me. But this car might be for sale. So just keep that in mind. If anyone's looking for a super clean 2006 Mustang GT, um, I've got one sitting here, and I think he'd probably, I think he's probably leaning towards selling it. Uh, it's a clean title car. The folks that owned it, they were both, uh, they're about 68 years old, so it wasn't driven hard. Actually, the wife's the one that drove it, and it has 105,000 miles on it, and it's 2006, so it's an 18-year-old car that's only like 5,000 miles per year. It has the upgraded Power Stop uh, Extreme drilled slotted uh, rotors and the pads on all four corners. That was the back wheel. Here's the front wheel here. Yeah, they all match. It's got new calipers on it. It's got the tires are only a couple years old. It's got Michelin uh, Michelin pilots on it. 255 45 ZR18s. But um, you can see she's a she's a pretty darn clean car. Here's the passenger side. I'm not going to go crazy with this one like I did the last one I had. And jack everything up and take the wheels off and everything, but you can see she's a clean car. You get the front of it here. Here's underneath the rear of the car. Can't really see my uh, screen on my phone, so I'm just trying to get what I can. It does have the Steeda, the cat back there, exhaust. But yeah, overall, she's a really clean car. Bumpers are real clean. Still has plenty of tread left on those tires, and the tires do have the the lifetime war uh, certificate warranty through a, a discount tire. And we'll just do a real quick of the inside here. She's a five-speed car. All right, here's the other side. Like I say, I know the sun's probably messing with stuff out here, but the sun just happens to be out. There's like nowhere or anything under the floor mats. It's real clean. And it does have the Shaker 1000 uh, a stereo system in it. it. Has I believe they're two. They look like they're two, either eight or ten inch subwoofers in the trunk.
their, their factory though. It came with the car. So anyways, folks, here it is, 2006 Ford Mustang GT. Um, it does have the lowering springs on it. You can see the stance. You can see, of course, the aftermarket wheels and tires. Uh, it has the Steeda catback exhaust on it. And um, I'm trying to think. I think that's about all it has. The engine's pretty much all stock on it. Sounds good though. Drives real good. Transmission's real smooth. Um, the paint's really clean. Really nice color. And here she is under the hood. Just your 4.6 liter uh, three valve single overhead cam engine. I believe these are right about 300 horsepower, give or take, 300, 305, something like that. Factory air box. Nothing's been molested under here. It's all it's all factory and pretty pretty clean under the hood. So I do have a Carfax on it. And um, from talking with the previous owners, they only used, not that Ford makes their own oil, but all they used in here was Motorcraft uh, synthetic uh, 520 oil. That's what it calls for from the factory of 520. That's what they used. And um, it came with receipts. When I guess the brakes were, they had the brakes put on. Um, they had, you know, all the fluid um, evacuated, or, you know, exchange, you know, put new brake fluid in. They had the power steering flush. Um, what else? The coolant flush. Um, uh, that had, you know, the, the transmission fluid service, the rear differential service, stuff like that. Just basic maintenance stuff. But, um, she starts instantly, she drives good, no check engine lights, nothing. Just a good basic stock car with a lowered stance and some good sound and exhaust on it is, is basically what it what it comes out to. On it's got the tenant windows. But um, you know, for being an 18-year-old car, most of these are beat to death. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is a I mean, this is the main reason I let my son go ahead and get it. This is a very clean example. Now, it's not like it rolled off the Sherwin floor. It's 18 years old. But it is a very, very, very clean car. So he's been hitting around. He may want to get rid of it. And, and I'll tell you guys why. My son, he's, he's autistic. He, he's high functioning, but he's still autistic. And... Um, if he stalls it, taken off, or something like that, it really ruins his whole day. And, you know, things go south from there. And he's always, you know, he's driven both the other cars that were five speeds a little bit. And uh, he can drive this one, don't get me wrong, but he's real hard on himself when something goes wrong. So, um, I think that's going to be the reason. And I've also heard from him that my wife is working on him to get rid of it. So I don't know if that's true. I haven't spoken to her, but that's the only reason that it's probably going to be up for sale. It's not because there's anything wrong with it or really trying to flip it and make money, you know, make a good profit on it or anything like that. It's just, just one of those things. But I think it is a very clean car overall. Anyways, here it is from this side over here. She can see it on this side. So if anyone's interested, let me know. And in the meanwhile, I don't know. We'll see what happens, whether he keeps it or gets rid of it. But if one of you guys are interested in it, let me know. It's super clean. I don't think you're going to find another one this clean. It's a pretty nice car, guys.